Tonight, we're going to see the transition of your mother from a child star to a teen idol. Yeah, so we've got three films tonight. We've got Rebel Without a Cause. Mm -hmm. That was her first Oscar nomination as a supporting actress. We've got The Searchers, one of the greatest westerns ever made. And Bomber's B-52, when she and you started dating. It was a wonderful time. It was fantastic. Well, I hope everyone enjoys them as much as we do. I hope so. She was good. <laughs> So we're talking about The Searchers. Great film. One of the best Westerns. That was ever made, right? Yeah. And, um, you know, uh, my friend Claire Trevor, he, he, and you knew Claire, uh, she played your mother's mother in a picture that she did called Marjorie Morningstar. Mm -hmm. And we were all very close friends. And uh, Claire Trevor made a comment one time about a film that she did, which was a Western that John Ford directed called... Stagecoach, which was just one of the best pictures ever made. And she said, she was always very self-conscious about her work and looking at it. And she said, everything fit. Mm. Great director, wonderful script, great cameraman, great cast. Great location. Great location, great music. Mm -hmm. It all fit. And it made a really, truly truly memorable picture and I think the searchers has got that same quality and it was made in Monument Valley too you know yeah and I mean just the landscape with all that sort of red sand and then the colors that the that they had in it that the Indians were wearing the colors of the skirt that mommy wore I mean it was such a great contrast yeah, they, they did it was beautiful you know I I don't I, the, she told me once um, <laughs> that uh, she had been taking um, the sun a lot. And in Monument Valley, it's uh, very, the, the sun is very strong. And she got terribly sunburned. And the assistant director went to John Ford and said, you know, Natalie's got a terrible sunburn and she can't, she can't shoot. I mean, it's just, just unbelievable. And he said, well, tell her to go in her hat. <laughs> You know, and the day finished, and Natalie was in her cabin, her little cabin, and the right. door opened, and in, in came a hat <gasps> turned upside down. <laughs> was she daunted by that? No, and, and in came and in came Mr. Mr. Ford, John Ford, and he he, he liked her so much. It was, oh my God! Is that, is that funny? But That's the door funny. opened, and the hat came in like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. It was a tremendous location. Everybody was marvelous in that picture. My friend Jeff Hunter. Yeah, he's great as the brother. Yeah. Wasn't that a part that you wanted? I wanted it. Yeah, I wanted that one. You know, we all wanted it. Yeah. You know, we were yeah. all knocking around, and he was such a marvelous director and the best director in the business at that time, you know. I mean, even though she's only in it, what, an hour and something into the film, she makes such an impact. Well, it's a lot about her, too. You yeah, know? and it's uh, all, and also she just looked, I don't know, I loved all the, it's sort of how I remember her as a mom. She wore a lot of, you know, colorful clothing and mm. bracelets, and her hair was in those braids. She's but he, when he picked her up, the fear in her face. Oh, yeah. You know, was so incredible, and at that moment, that's a, that's a marvelous moment. Mm, well, great shall we see it? Yeah, let's see the movie. Okay. So here's the film with my friend Jeffrey Hunter and Vera Miles from 1956, The Searchers. Great film. Isn't it marvelous? So good. You know, John Ford, I mean, his casting, mm -hmm. so incredible. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, the relationship that he had with John Wayne was... Tremendous, you know, they, he, he made the picture I was talking about, Stagecoach, you know, that was John Wayne's real breakout movie that made him the star that he was oh, for really? 
Oh, yeah, for generations, absolutely. I love the ending when he picks her up and he says, let's go home, Debbie. And the fear in her face. Yeah. And then she kind of falls into him and he holds her and then he, she's on the horse and it, it's just so... Well, that understanding moment, you know, because you mm. don't know whether or not he's going to kill her or what. Right. And also, she doesn't know. No. But everybody's character is so well defined in that moment. And yeah. uh, it's, it's one of, I think, one of cinema's really great history moments. When I think about that movie and I think about all the poisonous creatures that were in Monument mm. Valley and that wasn't, didn't Ward Bond, wasn't he bitten by a scorpion? Yeah, he was bitten by a scorpion. And when I think about my mom and how much she didn't really like... Oh, she didn't like ...critters those, uh... like scorpions or snakes or spiders and that apparently she spent the whole time watching out for them, making sure that they were not anywhere near uh, her. Well, and also, you know, I think the women on that location were, you know, they, there were a few women around. Mm, right. And, uh, and she was just kind of isolated for four weeks, you know, waiting up there to go on. Yeah, I don't think there was much to do. No, but... But also, um, I think she turned 17 on that movie. I mean, can you imagine? In that movie, she's 16 years old. I know. So young. I know. Should we take a look at another film? Yes. Which one is next? Up next, we bring you my mom in a movie all about the Air Force and also starring Carl Malden.